Hi, my name is Han Lei, and I quit my corporate job at Amazon and took a year off, aka adult gap year, aka a mid-career break, and it was the best decision that I've made. And during that time, I actually, um, my father passed away. So, so for me, it was the best decision I've ever made, and I'm not going back to corporate life anytime soon. And if you want to hear the long-winded story of it, you can check out uh, another link to a podcast that I did uh, with Janelle Clemente on Fun Shoot Podcast. There's a lot of details that are in there that isn't in this video, so I'll link that below in the description box. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you find inspiration, and yeah. Hey everyone, so I'm Tan and I left my corporate job uh, back in July 2018. It is now July 2019, a year later, and I just wanted to talk a little bit more about why I left my job. I'm so glad that I took it because my life has definitely taken a different turn um, and I'm actually not going back to corporate anytime soon. So I worked for Amazon for about four and a half years and the first few years I was miserable and I wanted to leave so bad. Um, but you know, I couldn't and the pay was great and um, so I didn't and I just kind of like stayed there. But the thing that made me think of the gap year was during that second year that I actually traveled a lot more. The people that I worked with were predominantly either in the US or in the EU and it was always so interesting for me to be in a situation where I would just listen to how they lived life and it was so awesome because the Europeans didn't know how to take their break. Let me tell you that. Like, us Americans were always on the go, 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 go. But there is something that I really learned from my colleagues over there that made me kind of rethink um, how I wanted to approach life. And one was that I never took a gap year. I felt like almost everyone that I worked with in the EU took a gap year right after university or even prior to it. So that was something that I was that intrigued me and I really wanted to take it But actually going back to work um, At the time I really wanted to quit But there was something that was like if you quit now while you're miserable You're just gonna be same miserable level in that next job So figure out what it is that you like and so with that mentality I really started to dive into what I liked about my job, what made it so awesome. And then from there, I also knew I wanted to take this gap year. So that was kind of like all molding together, but it did take me a while to save up and to prepare for it. But meanwhile, when I was at work, it was like I had, I had really good people that I worked for. And I had really good people that I worked with. And I had the opportunity to do my own thing in terms of like, and here's what Amazon, I thought, did right, meaning they gave me a responsibility and it was for me to take it and build it in the way that I guess I wanted to build it, but within their parameters. But anyways, I really enjoyed the people that I worked with and I had a hand in hiring and building this team that I felt I guess like a family and it was fun being there and you know, when things got tough, we could kind of like talk to each other and kind of lift each other up. And so those were the things that I found so wonderful at where I worked. Um, and that's something that I still hold on to like right now and how I want to pursue the future of it. I wanted to take this gap year and I knew I had to save and I knew I wanted to live here. This is my apartment um, here in Queens, New York that I didn't want to, I didn't want to leave. So I, I wanted a home base and I knew for me personally, having a home base was a requirement. And so I saved up to be able to live here for a year. Um, and then I also saved up to travel and just to, I didn't have a set plan. I just 
wanted to do random things for a year to see if I liked or didn't like it. And for me, when I first quit, I, you know, went backpacking and I went, you know, back home to Vietnam and and I went to South Africa and it was just, it was great, but it also made me realize that I don't want to be a tech nomad. That is not my life. That is, that I just can't do it. And that's me personally. And so starting in the early 2019, which was early, it's, it was January. So that was my kind of last trip. And then the end of January, beginning of February, uh, my dad passed away. And uh, I, I was just happy that I was there to be with him until the end. And I was happy with the decision that I made to take this adult gap year because I felt that had I not taken it, some of these moments would be lost. And the lesson for me was more of just kind of follow your intuition and take the risk even though you're, you're a little bit scared because it has definitely changed the trajectory of my life and my career and things that I now prioritize um, as I am trying to get back into the, the workforce, uh, so to speak. Again, the adult gap year has been the best decision that I've made. I would encourage people to do it and I would encourage people to to kind of like self-explore because we don't take that time often and I was in a position that I could do it um, and I don't think we take enough time to really just ask ourselves is this is this what I really want or is this what I was told that I really wanted and this time has given me that opportunity to distinguish between what is being told and asked of me versus how do I actually feel about it? Where do I stand on it? And so this adult gap year has given me that opportunity to really just like dive into those questions and dive into what is a priority and value in my life personally. And so yeah, this adult gap year has been fucking awesome. If you also want to read an article as to why I took my year off, I actually wrote a blog on Diary of an Old Millennial and I'll also link that below. So I hope that was helpful into letting you know why I quit my corporate job um, and kind of how I approached it. So if y'all have any questions, please comment below. You can also check out more information uh, on my website, ton-lay.com.